everyone. Welcome to We English, We TV. It's great to see you today. Today we're going to do another I Can Make video. I know that you love making. I know that you love cooking. And today we're going to make something so cool, so fun, something that I know you are going to love. What could that be? Well, we're going to make, yep, a hamburger. Now, you might be thinking, Chris, I've seen those hamburgers, not that exciting, but that, no, we're not going to make something like that. We're going to make something more like, bam, like that. And you know that? That's more like a bacon cheeseburger. Yes, we are going to make a bacon cheeseburger. Are you ready? Let's see what ingredients we need. First, we need ground beef. Ground beef is, of course, the most important ingredient in hamburgers. Then we're going to use some bread. Now, if you buy a hamburger at McDonald's or another place, usually they will have a hamburger bun. But when you make hamburgers at home, you can just use bread. And today, we're going to use bread. Lettuce. I like to have lettuce on my hamburgers. I really like to have vegetables on my hamburgers, almost like a little salad with a hamburger. We're going to use some cheese. You can use any cheese you want or no cheese at all. Today, we're going to use Swiss cheese. Tomatoes, I really like tomatoes on my hamburger. And pickles, remember we use pickles in our potato salad. Mustard, we also use mustard in the potato salad, so hopefully you still have some at home. Onion, garlic, mushrooms, mmm, mushrooms. Spices, here's where you can get very creative with your hamburger. We're going to put spices into the meat before we cook, and that way we give it more flavor. And you can use what spices you like. Maybe you like salt, maybe you like pepper, maybe you like curry, whatever you want to do, it's okay. And then of course, it's a bacon cheeseburger. We must have bacon. We're making hamburgers. We only need a couple simple tools, really. We're just going to use a knife and a cutting board Nothing fancy, we're going to use a pan to cook, you know. Let's go through our steps one time first. First, we're going to finely dice onions and the garlic. We're going to cut them very, very small. When we cut them very small, we say that they are fine. So we will finely dice our onions and garlic. Next, we're going to knead the onions, garlic, and spices into the ground beef. We're going to use our hands and mix them together. We call that kneading. Third, we're going to slice the tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, and the cheese. We're going to set that aside to use it later. Then we will cook the bacon until it's crispy. And of course, we'll put that on a paper towel to dry, just like we did last time. Now we're ready to form our hamburger mix into patties. Maybe you want very thick hamburgers. Maybe you want thinner hamburgers. That's up to you. Then we're ready to cook the burgers. And finally, we're going to build a sandwich. Yes, a hamburger is a type of sandwich, but not all sandwiches are hamburgers. So are you ready? Let's cook. Okay. All right, it's time to start cutting. Let's get going. Got my onion. I don't want that. And I don't want to use too much onion inside. So I'll just cut a chunk. And now let's cut this up. Garlic. Remember I like to crush the garlic, makes it easier to peel. Okay. We've chopped up our onions and garlic, and now we're ready to add the onions, garlic, and spices into our beef. So I'll just go ahead and start with this. Ooh, got a little salt. I just want a little. Should be good. And I've got some cumin. And we've got some red pepper. Give it a little kick. 
We've got some black pepper. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Just a little. And now hands have to get really dirty. Oh, it's so disgusting, oh my God. Okay, now all of our beef has been mixed very well with our onions and our spices and garlic. And so I'm going to put this to the side and wash my hands and then it's time to start slicing our other ingredients. All right, let's get slicing. I like slicing things so that they can easily go on top of the hamburger. You know, put that here. And my lettuce is a little big. I'm just gonna cut it in half. And we have these great mushrooms. These are called portobello mushrooms. And portobello mushrooms, as you can see, they're pretty big. And that actually makes them great. We're going to cook these mushrooms after we cook our bacon to give them a little extra flavor. So first I'm going to slice these mushrooms. I'm going to slice a few slices of onion and I'm gonna grill those with the mushrooms too so that the mushrooms can get a little flavor from the onion and the onions will be cooked, giving them a different flavor to go on top of our hamburger. Okay, I'm ready to slice my cheese. I'm not going to use the knife to slice my cheese. I have a little cheese grater and my cheese. All right, we've sliced all our vegetables and now we're ready to cook our bacon. Let's cook our bacon. Pan's nice and warm. Gently place the bacon in. I love the sound of bacon cooking. Now that I've cooked my bacon, I'm ready to cook my onions and my mushrooms, and I want to cook them in the bacon oil, so I'm not going to drain the pan. I'm just gonna put them right on in. It's now time to make our hamburgers and cook them. So I grab a handful of meat. Okay, I'm going to form it into a patty in my hands. Sometimes you wanna start by rolling it into a ball, and then you can just push it flat. Now, I like my hamburgers a little thick, so I'm gonna go about here. These burgers are done. I'm going to take them out now. Now we're ready to build our sandwich. Okay, let's build our sandwich. Got some bread here. And my bread is very big. So I'm going to cut it in half. All right. I cut my bread in half, and now, first thing I want to do is actually put some lettuce down on top of the bread. And I like to put my lettuce first because it keeps the hamburger juice off the bread and the bread will stay longer. The hamburger juice on the bread makes the bread start to fall apart. Now I can put my hamburger on top of my lettuce, and I'll add a mushroom, let's add some bacon, add some cheese, a couple of tomatoes, some pickles. It's very colorful, I like that. And one of my favorite ingredients, of course, is mustard. And I'm just going to put the mustard on top. If you want, you could add some ketchup. You could even add some barbecue sauce. That's fine. This is my hamburger. I'm only going to add the mustard. And now I'm ready to close it. And wow, look at that sandwich. Isn't it beautiful? I, I love it. I can't wait to eat.
Well, we've done it. We've made an awesome bacon cheeseburger. And I can't wait. I'm sure that you are going to make an even more awesome hamburger or bacon cheeseburger or avocado burger or chili burger, whatever you want. I can't wait to see it. But more than that, I can't wait to eat. So it's time to say goodbye, everyone. See you next time. Thanks for watching WeTV.